EA Sports. It's in the game. Favorite feature that you're most excited about fans getting their hands on in August 10th? Game flow. You know, for me, single-handedly changes the way I experience Madden. I can play more games in Madden, so there's a lot of new great stuff, but it's hard for me to enjoy it if I have to commit an hour, but maybe I can play two games in 30 minutes. We talked about 63 minutes. That's how long the average game was. And, and if you're only spending 17 minutes actually on the field where play-by-play -play and color commentary makes sense, well, how do you fill the rest of that the rest of that time? The guys flow better together. The visuals flow better together because you're not filling dead time. A lot of the, the benefits you see offline translate directly to online. I think the, the first thing is just game time. You know, I think just like offline, not everybody has an hour to dedicate to an online experience and add to that the fact that now you need to you know, also be online at the same time your friend's online in order to play an online game. But having a shorter game experience makes that a lot more accessible to the broader audience. The coaching tips that actually, you know, the on-field audio of telling you how to run the play. We've got you out of the gun to buy time. So having that turn. information right when you're lining up for your play and saying, look for this guy crossing here, that's something immediate and you're hearing it. Back in Madden 10 and, and, and before, there were times when I was almost panicked. I'm trying to pick the right play. What's my opponent going to do? Am I calling the right situation? Then I'd get out there and I'd have to worry about execution. Now with game flow, I like execution. I just like knowing what am I supposed to do? How am I going to get this done? And I can just focus on running the ball or, or passing the ball, trying to hit my receiver. It's actually very, very nice. We'll have help over the top from a safety on this cover two man zone. So it's kind of that good balance of the guy that just wants to skip through, have the coach call his play for him, hear it in his headset, this whole totally different Madden experience that's like being on the field, and he finishes his game in you know 20, 30 minutes. That's killer. For our core fans that are really so focused on you know what are you doing to gameplay, I mean they're gonna freak out when they see locomotion. Locomotion is is what drives every player. It's how they move. It's how they run. The running back is turning to avoid to avoid uh, contact and to be able to do that now with the sticks and kind of get that that leaning and that balance into the running game. I mean to me it, it makes running backs way more explosive and elusive. You know taking technology from within the EA sport and expanding on it and so that we have a really visually stunning you know running system locomotion as well as super authentic. You touch on like the game planning aspect of it I mean I think that for me that's what the core is really going to gravitate to don't you think? Yeah I mean I think you look at kind of our, our push for authenticity in, in playbooks since Madden 04 you know when I started and on the team in design and it was really all about watching game tape. We, we got access to every game, every play of every game, and we kept pushing on more and more plays, more and more plays. We gotta get every play that every team runs in there every week. And so you've seen our playbooks balloon in size from you know 100 to 300 plus, 350. And again, we stepping back, it's like that's not what they do. A coach doesn't go and say, I've got 350 plays, it's, it's, it's first and 10. Which, which one do I look right, for? Yeah, yeah. He plans ahead of time. And so when you talk about game planning, that's where we're going. I mean, I, it's tough to, to balance this message of, yeah, it's simpler, the, the guy that's never played Madden is going to have a great time versus, you know, I've been playing for 20 years and I don't want to have that message on me. You know, I want to I want to play and be authentic to real football. And so game plan is really where it's at for me to know that, all right, I'm going to stick with the Colts game plan, but I really don't like the way they run stretches all the time. I'm going to start running a lot more play action, you know, and I can just change that up a little bit to my liking. Or if I'm with the Titans, you know, I'm going to use Chris Johnson a lot more. I'm going to move him out at receiver and I'm going to start passing to him if I want to. What's, so. what's cool is, uh, you know, I was talking to those guys and I was talking to Coach Fisher about, about Chris Johnson and how he uses him. And he said, you know, last year when he started off so hot, they, you know, when they went to Vince, they had to change up that game plan. And what's really neat is I, I was asking them, what are the different situations that, that you have on that play sheet? And they all have the same ones. It's yep. all about red zone. First, you know, they call them openers. So first and 10, second and mid range, third and long. and. So to have all those, I mean, I think we have 24 key game situations that you can mm -hmm. take up to 15 plays and, and, and put against it. And the idea of being able to weight them so that whatever your money play is, quote unquote, that's the play that's gonna be called mm -hmm. for you more often. I think that's huge because that's what he was telling me. He's like, every week we figure out, man, this play's really working well. And so they might tweak it, but they certainly move it up into their uh, kind of priorities for those key situations. I think you see a lot of more 
seasoned gamers is they find plays that work and they call them over and over and over again. And so that was another thing that like, why are we doing all this? Why, why are we creating 300 plays if there's just one play that works for someone every time? Well, now they can put that in their game plan and exactly. wait it, oh, yeah. so, wait it super exactly. heavy, That's, so then so, so then now they can finish their game in half the time, if that's what the, the way they want to play. I mean, we've got guys on the team that just love running the Wildcat. So they'll just fill their whole game plan with Wildcat plays, you know, and they can now get through a game in half the time, still have all that strategy, and they can jump out and change it up if they want. To go from 63 minutes down to finishing games in less than 30, same amount of plays, I mean, you just, You've gone from 350 plays down to one, and you've gone from 63 minutes to less than 30. I mean, that is, that, that's probably the biggest wholesale change that we've had in five, 10 years. Madden NFL 11, August 10th, in stores everywhere. It's a wrap.